welcome to my channel. My name is Jelani. This is my first video for 2024. Wow. Can't believe I'm saying that out loud. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, we made it in 2024 and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord indeed. Um, my phone's doing the most right now. Let me just quickly. Ah, sorry about that, guys. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I can't believe it's 2024. Can you believe it? Because I don't. <laughs> um, I just wanted to come up on here and not only wish you guys a happy new year, but just pray that you guys have an extraordinary year. Um, wow. Last year was such a transformative year. I learned so much. God taught me so much. He really got me through some of the highs and lows and um and because of him i'm still here and i'm grateful to god for that you know i just pray that as you step into this new year that you truly not only just glorify in the lord and walk with the lord but i know that with every new year people love to start the year with new resolutions new year resolution new year new me let's start the new year you know let's start the year with God and end it with God like just with God throughout the whole year let's do life with Jesus um, and truly set whatever goals you know inspirations you have because they're good things having goals and dreams and what have you whatever visions you have it's important to lay it before the Lord and you know is this what the Lord wants for you in 2024 and, you know you you will go through some trials you might go through some testings in this year like you did last year um, because life isn't easy <laughs> life is not easy but the great thing is you know we can do this thing called life with Jesus and he just makes things a lot more breathable he helps us get through the most toughest of times and his words are so comforting the Word of God is so comforting it really does help you get through each season and like I said I wouldn't have gotten through I wouldn't have been able to step into this year if it wasn't for, for him I wouldn't have been able to see 31 years of life if it wasn't for Jesus and if it wasn't for God Almighty so thank you Jesus thank you God <laughs> um, but yeah so I just pray that you, you know you just be kind to yourself this year if you weren't kind to yourself last year take it easy don't be so hard on yourself I was definitely in that season last year where I was so hard on myself there were times I even lent on my own understanding and things were just becoming so confusing and as the word of God says you know God is not the author of confusion if you're walking in confusion rebuke that <laughs> rebuke it um, but yeah you know start the year with God and the year with God like I said if you need to write you know a prayer board you know for whatever it may be for your job for your family for your friends for yourself for a miracle for I don't know anything whatever you have installed like get a board get like a cheap board and just stick you know put some prayers into an envelope and stick them on those boards and see by the end of the year the prayers that God has answered and um, God is faithful we serve a very faithful God so I hope that you remember that and always lean on to that and um, may this year just be another transformative year a, a year of just growth a year of obedience where we continue to lean into him and not onto our own understanding and just understand that some things will just not won't make sense there's just some things in life that it's just honestly what is it it's okay we don't have to understand everything like I don't understand why humans feel like we have to understand and know everything because no there's limits that we as human beings there's certain limits to certain things and God is omnipotent, omnipresent, so let it, leave you to him. Let him be the one that knows, knows it all. And whatever he wants to tell us, whatever he wants us to know, it is what it is. So sorry, my camera decided to play up. But yes, you know, I hope you're all having an amazing day, an amazing night, wherever you guys are. I just pray blessings upon blessings for you all. I pray that, you know, this year be a year of revival, a year of, you know, uh, gratitude. Just may you just 
be grateful for everything the Lord has done and continues to do in your life. You know, that even in the sorrows, that even in the troubles, even in the whatever it may be, in whatever season it is, I just pray that you still give praise to the Lord. It's because of Him you're still here. It's because of Him I'm still here. And, um, you know, as, as you see the world around us, the world is going mad. The world is li literally going mad, mad in us. But, you know, no one knows the hour, the, the time, the second. No one knows when the Lord's returning. And, you know, you will see around you that you know, these videos, you know, kind of letting you know that Jesus is coming back, Jesus is coming back. And yes, the Lord is getting close, but don't let that, don't let yourself walk in fear in this year. Just continue to to grow in the Lord and continue to walk with the Lord. And you know, lean on, you know, ask for God's wisdom. Ask for God's, ask for God to help you in areas that you feel you're struggling with. And, but yeah, I just came here pretty much to just, you know, wish you guys all an amazing year. An amazing year. I just pray that God just keeps you all safe, your friends and your family and your loved ones. I pray that this year you be bold in your faith. Um, that was something that I'd prayed for last year because I was lacking a lot of that. And God truly did a work in me last year and helped me to get out of, you know, the somewhat of the fear that I had in certain areas of my life. And he truly instilled such boldness in me that I was able to truly witness to those around me and not only that but even create this YouTube channel um, and you know just glorify his name on these videos because it's all it's all for him it's all for him I'm I live for him he's my life and um, and I pray that you make him your life and your world because you are his world you he loves you so much he died for you and um, but yeah, I don't I want to ramble too much on this video. But um, yeah, I just want to say I love you. Jesus loves you. And um, yeah, just read your Bible. Write to him. Write love letters to him. Gra you know, send your gratitude and praise to the Lord. No matter what you go through in this year, continue to be in the word. Just rooted in the word. Um, and no matter what those around you says go to god first if you need confirmation for anything go to god if you're looking for you know you have these aspirations you have these goals you have these dreams take it to god first let let god be the one to know you know let god know don't just be telling everybody your business go to god first with everything go to god first let that be your thing this year that it be God first. Yes. And don't you worry. It's easier said than done sometimes. But there's no need to worry. Because the word of God tells us not to worry. For tomorrow we'll worry about itself. You know. So, so I hope that you take care. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. Um, and know that God has a plan and a purpose for you. I say this all the time, but it's so true because the word of God says it and I believe it. So I pray that you believe what the word of God says too. But yes, I just, I just know amazing things are going to happen this year for you, for me. And just, um, yeah, if you haven't, you know, if you, if you haven't spread the word of God yet, um, due to fear or fear of whatever it may be, whatever the fear may be, fear of judgment, fear of this, fear of that, you know, um, Take it to God. Take it to God. Let him soften your heart. Let him change your heart. You know, let him transform your mind. Transform your heart. And um, know that God will do an amazing thing in you and through you. And I pray this that he does, you know. And um, yeah, God bless you. And um, have a blessed day wherever you guys are. And again, happy New Year's. God bless. Bye.